training and development at the Six Auto Corporate Office. And although she has a passion for eventually uh, and hopes to land a teaching position as a speech communicator instructor at a nearby college, this is a mystery. <laughs> She's a big fan, as we well know, of Alice in Wonderland. And I figured out by her bio that Halloween must be her favorite holiday mm -hmm. because she has two cats at home that remind her of Halloween all the time. <laughs> Please welcome Rachel Neal. <laughs> Take a moment to close your eyes. Remember back to that day when you were in high school, maybe you in your eye, you came home, maybe you went to your grandma's house, and you smelled this nice aroma as you walked into your house. It smelled like fresh baked cookies. And you knew that the moment you would take a bite of those cookies, you would have this memory for a flash forward to today. Today I wanted to go ahead and give you a presentation on chocolate chip cookies. <laughs> and when I think about cookies, I think about my grandma and I think about those days after school when I would go over to her house and I would be spoiled. In fact, I would eat all this candy and all these cookies, all these fresh cooked food before I'd go home and then I wouldn't want to eat dinner. How many of you did that? I think we're all pretty much guilty of that. <laughs> well, you see, if I really wanted to eat, though, I had to go to one of my grandma's house because I was fortunate enough to have two grandmas that cook. My mom, she doesn't cook. Her idea of cooking was hamburger helper. <laughs> so I really enjoyed the time at my grandma's, and I really enjoyed the cookie and getting my appetite spoiled on the chocolate chip cookies my grandma cooked. Now that we've talked a little about the cookies, I wanted to go into the history of the chocolate chip cookies. So I just wanted to give you a little bit of background some of you may or may not already know. And my information tonight is pulled from Lauren Brown Costellas, who is the Competent Cooks website that she posted on 2005. But believe it or not, the chocolate chip cookie is only 75 years old, approximately, give or take a couple of years. Only 75 years have we been enjoying this crisp, melts in your mouth, delicacy. In 1930, Ruth and her husband had opened an inn in the Toll House Inn, actually in Maryland. And they had had a bakery there, and Ruth cooked. And unfortunately, one evening at the bakery, she ran out of the morsel chocolates that she had used. Instead, she took a chocolate bar that was given to her by a very good friend by the name of Andrew Nestle. I wonder who that was. Hmm. And she broke it into pieces, and that's how the chocolate cookie was formed. For many years, the Toll House family and Nestle's worked together. And then it was in 1939 when Betty Crocker featured it on her show that the chocolate chip cookie really took off and became this household name. Hence, Betty Crocker. Hello, it's Billy, Betty Crocker. <laughs> <laughs> and that's how, and that's from the factsaboutchocolate.com website. Interestingly enough, the Toll House cookie had stayed a copyright name until 1983 when the Federal District Court overturned that. And now today, the Toll House is now a generic term, kind of like what Xerox was for the copy machine. And that's from the chip, chocolate chip cookie recipe.com website. Now that we've talked a little bit about the history of the chocolate chip cookie, I want to move on to a recipe of the chocolate chip cookie. But I first want to ask how many of you have received that one email about that lady who paid $250 for a Nemeth Marcus for a chocolate chip cookie? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that, that went around for a while. According to Snopes, that's not a true fact, but it's kind of really funny, and a lot of that ties back with the uh, nuts, uh, with the uh, Mrs. Phil's chocolate chip cookie. To quote Debbie Phil's, number one, I absolutely love making chocolate chip cookies. I mean, it's fun. It's exciting. Beyond the fact that I love making them, I love eating them. I think we all could pretty much agree to that. Now, the basic necessities for making a chocolate chip cookie are traditionally your butter, 
you have to have flour, you have to have baking soda, salt. I'm not going to give you a little measurement. If you're interested later on, I'll let you look at my book. And some sugar, uh, dark brown sugar, six, uh, two eggs, vanilla extract, and 12 ounces of semi-sweet chocolate chips. That's approximately two cups. Now, when I was reading through tonight, I was kind of wanting to give you the recipe. I couldn't believe how specific the directions were. You have to use a whisk. You can't mix these all ingredients all together at once. You have to mix the flour and the baking soda and the salt all at one. And then in another bowl, you have to put the butter and the eggs. And I'm like, what's the point of that? It's all going to go in our tummy anyways, right? But you still have to mix it up separately. And can't over mix it. To direct quote from it. OK, just, just to give you a quote from it. Add the flour mixture and chocolate chips. Blend at low speed until just barely mixed. Do not over mix. How do you know it's not over mixed? <laughs> but I thought that was really funny when I was reading the direction. I'm like, yeah, right. that's not how I do chocolate chip cookies. Basically, I just put it all together. And that's that. I haven't had a problem. <laughs> now that I've given you a recipe for chocolate chip cookies, I think that that was quite an interesting recipe, but eh, well, whatever. I think one ingredient, though, is missing from Mrs. Phil's recipe, as it is from other recipes as well. I'm going to borrow from a Norwegian proverb. Cookies are made of butter and love. And I think no matter how often you look at the cookie recipes, no matter which recipe you use, yes, some are good, some of them are eh, they're all chocolate chip, though, so how could it be horrible, never horrible, unless they're overcooked and I don't know. But I think it's about the love that a person puts into it. When I was younger, to share a story, I made some chocolate chip cookies for my dad, and I overcooked them. Okay, they must have been horrible. I know he was taking a bite of it. Oh, this is wonderful, daughter. <laughs> and it's just about that love that was within those cookies. Looking back now, I can remember the times I was with my grandmother, and I made the cookies with her, and that's, I have, again, two fortunate, um, I have two grandmothers that I'm fortunate that cook, but one of them I spent more time with, and now she's passed for about 10 years, but whenever I make cookies, a lot of times I think about her. Cookies mean something more than just that chocolate chip. To surmise, I want to bring up an author's quote, I do not drown my, suffer my sorrows, I suffocate them with chocolate chip cookies, and I also enjoy my memories. Thank you, and I would like to go ahead and share my love tonight. Yay! 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 Yay!